you meet people <laughs> that share your beliefs. <laughs> Isaiah, how did we meet? Isaiah Hendricks. First, I guess a little, a little background. Right? Yes, background. So who knows the Ritz Carlton? Anyone own a hotel, a whole brand or whatever? That's where we met. And believe it or not, just to give them some backside as well, just because of how we dress, whatever. I was arrested twice, so on probation plenty of times, and I was in trouble in school as well. Right? So about a couple years ago, I was doing well, right? Can anyone guess how old I am? 23. 23. 23. 30. 30. 30. Oh, just turned 23. So a couple years ago, let's say around 20, late 19, I was doing well myself, because I've been developing myself since 15. So at 19, I had it all. Let's say a couple grand in savings, I had stocks, mutual funds, I was doing it well. I had my own place, car, relationship, pet, everything. Myself, 19, right? Rock. Rock on, rock on, right? I got into something with my landlord, an argument with my landlord at the time, and I lost it all. Litigation, court battles, I lost the car, the place, my dog, and now the relationship. So at the time, I stayed in the back of a U-Haul truck. I had a little cash to spend. I blew through a grand in a week staying in the back of a U-Haul truck. It's like 80 bucks a day, 10 days, there you go. After that, I stayed in my car, and then my engine blew. $2,500. Couldn't get that done, it repulled my car. This has literally been like a six month span. Like it was ridiculous, right? I went from up here to down here, literally. And then, uh, so I've been in self-development th throughout the whole time, personal development, growing, educating, and uh, it was rough at first. I was trying to believe, just affirmations, right, and all that. And then um, I realized I need to start putting myself in circumstances and environments where I would meet positive, good people. And at first it was listening to speakers, because I wasn't the reader as well. I didn't, you know, I thought it was boring, whatever. But at 16, I went to a real estate seminar and that changed my life. So that's when I started diving into the books. That was when I started reading about real estate and so on. And I was interested. That's a lot. I can make money doing this, this, this. And just like you said, it's curiosity. It's just, wow, I can do this? Okay, it leads to one, leads to another. Now, can anyone guess how many books this man has read in the past year? Oh, about Jack, too. Jack. A thousand. Jack. Uh, it's close. It's close. What is it, a thousand or so? Not a year, but three years. Five, three years, all right. So for me, it's about 300. So you can kind of see the difference, right? Different relations. Anyway, so I met this guy. I realized I need to start putting myself in the environments to meet positive people. So I started going to hotels, condos. I would literally just go there and put a little front on, put a little suit on, and just act like I was somebody. I was afraid to speak to people for like weeks. I figured I would go to someone and say, hey, I'm Isaiah. I mean, I was, I was running into senators politicians, CEOs, executives, I was running to everyone. But every time I tried to walk up to them, it was nervousness, shakiness. Who, who heard of the law of attraction or believes in it? Law of attraction. Awesome. So, believe it or not, this man, Jay Duran, was the first person that I walked up to and said, hey, I'm Isaiah <laughs> Right? What do you do? Believe it or not, he was on a phone with a billionaire at the time. And what? Cold call. Yeah, hot call. Hot call. Hot call. So what attracted me, the law of attraction was, he was wearing a suit like this, right? He had a little book, he had a couple, a few cups of coffee, and lunch from the Ritz-Carlton. So I said, oh, he's, he's got a little change. He can afford a little something from the Ritz. So I said, I gotta go say something to him. As soon as I walked up to him, he said, hey, I'm on the phone, like, I'm it's an important phone call, but sit down, listen to this phone call. It was a billionaire. That's what impressed me. I said, oh, that phone call sounds important. A year later, right, here we are. Culture Matters is a, we, we help people develop their values and pretty much self-educate because, well, believe it or not, we were both here, right? Like, it's hard to believe. When he brought me onto the goal and a mission, it was really hard to believe that we were going to be doing this. And it's really, it's really a, a dream that's true. But, not to really, really press it, I have read about 300 of these in the past, you know, few years as well. Starting off with real estate, so, you know, I guess as a suggestion, right, actionable tips. If you're bored or tired with a book, pick a subject you like. Football, what, like, you know, whatever. It just get started, because that led to curiosity about more, which led to more, which led to much more, and now reading is like a habit at night, in the morning, whenever you can, at lunch break. I mean, I keep a journal with me everywhere I go. Also good recommendations, right? This is a 2017, 2018 journal. Whenever you have thoughts, questions, whatever, take a side note, just write it down, and then you'll build up your own library that's more important than any book you have. Like to me, this is more valuable than all of this, right? Because this is my book, my story. And I have about six of these, right? So 
that's really it. You know, that's, that's, that's my What story. was, because after this conversation, someone might be thinking, you know, like, how did you do that? How did you approach a stranger that you felt at the time? Right. Yeah, like you yeah. weren't, like you, I Believe know you felt not, like you weren't good enough at the time. Yeah. Yeah, who can tell we had, we had major uh, confidence issues? You can tell? Awesome. Shit, I got major confidence issues. Awesome, right? So how did you do that, right? That's something that you can learn. Gonna, yeah, yeah, don't worry. So before I walked into this guy. Thanks, bro, bro. Believe it or not, right? First, it was a book that was about networking, the power of networking, you build your master uh, network. And it said, be afraid to talk to strangers in these environments. So that's what I did. I put myself in those environments, and then I, I listened to an audio book. Um, and uh, Dan Locke, Dan Locke, uh, millionaire guy, if you just want to look into him, uh, millionaire business entrepreneur. And he said he would do the same thing, except he would take it to the extreme, where he would have no money, and he would fly to an expensive city. So he would go to Beverly Hills. And then, guess what? You're out there, you have no money. You better start talking to people. Like, that's how the belief, right? Just the belief in, I can do this. Now, if you have faith to go 3,000 miles to, with no money, or like a credit card, right? Like, whatever. And then say, well, I'm out here, I'm stranded. I guess I better start talking to people. It, it, if you hadn't invested in personal development first, right? You had been reading and learning and thinking and actually yeah. trying to be better, even though all that crap was going on in your life. A lot, yeah. That was you just think you would have tried to talk to me? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. So we will leave it at this, guys. We have to what? Believe? No. Then what? No. No? And then what? Do. Do. Believe? No? Do. If I had to do it again, I would be running to the next class trying to read that book to save all the time that I had to figure out later. And moving forward, if you want Culture Matters to come back and to have conversations that are open and honest where we can learn and work together, talk to your teachers. If you want to shadow us for a day, talk to your teachers and work something out that shows them that you have some skin in the game. 